Hi, my name is Sean Branner and this is an updated video of my servers for my website seanbranner.ie If any of you have watched the previous video you will notice that I have now got a cabinet for the servers which is why I decided to update the video. I got the cabinet free through work. I got a few other items off the internet including the rack mount server cases you can see here. I do have two blanking plates on order for the gaps at the bottom. At the bottom of the cabinet you can see my APC 3000RM Smart UPS which runs all of the computer equipment in the house and provides about 45 minutes of backup time depending on the total load. It is connected to my Windows server where I have Parachute installed for monitoring. The first server is my Linux web server. It is a Pentium 4 machine running at 2.4 gig and has 1 gig of RAM. It has one 40 gig hard disk and two 80 gig hard disks. The two 80 gig disks are in a RAID 1 array and serve as the home and web directories. This server of course hosts the seanbranna.ie website as well as providing DNS for all other computers on the network. It is currently running CentOS 5.4, Apache 2, MySQL, PHP and Virtualman GPL for administration. The second server is my Windows server. It is an AMD Athlon machine running at 2 gig and also has 1 gig of RAM. You may hear that it also has a very noisy chipset fan which I need to replace. This server has 5 hard disks all in and around 160 gig in size. Two of these disks are also in a RAID 1 array. I keep a copy of my digital photographs on both RAID arrays on both servers as they are not replaceable. This Windows server has several uses, including as a file and print server for the network and a download server. I have a gigabit ethernet card in this server as I often transfer large amount of amounts of media between it and my main desktop machine downstairs. This server currently runs Windows XP Professional. Above the servers you will see the patch panel which connects to my gigabit switch downstairs which you will see in the next video. One port on this panel is used as a standard BT slave socket for the cordless phone base unit at the top of the cabinet. You can also see the PDU for the cabinet above the brush strip. On the shelf at the top you will see a D-Link access point. This access point connects to an external high gain panel antenna which links my friend's house to the network. His house is almost one mile away. This access point is not connected directly to the network but instead is connected through an ethernet bridge and firewall in my Linux server to block DHCP requests passing between sites. Although it is useful to sometimes use my friend's ADSL connection to test my own web server, I do not want his computers or mine to accidentally use the wrong internet gateway. Beside this access point you will see a KVM switch connected to the monitor, keyboard and mouse to the left of the cabinet. I rarely use this as I control both servers remotely. Virtualman and SSH for my Linux server and VNC for my Windows server. On the top of the cabinet you will see the cordless phone base unit as mentioned earlier as well as another D-Link access point. This is the second of two access points for the house and has a 10 decibel antenna to boost coverage. That was a brief tour of my servers. Next I will show you the rest of the hardware and my main desktop machine downstairs.